So I don't know if you noticed, but let's be real. I know you did. So, you know, I'm burnt to a crisp, okay? And I'm not trying to be dramatic, but like, I'm burnt chicken lady, okay? I'm so burnt and I'm in pain, okay? I'm in pain, but you know what? Grind doesn't stop. So even though it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> it's gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> like, okay. We're still doing it. We're doing a back and biceps workout today because we want to get thick. So if you're trying to grow the muscles, keep on watching. All right, so whenever I do back and buys, I like to always start with back just because whenever I start with buys, I notice that I'm too tired and I don't even want to do back at that point. So it is very beneficial to me if I do back first so I don't wear out my biceps before I even get to do back. So the first exercise I have for you guys today is a dumbbell row on a bench. So basically you just lean over on the bench and just do a dumbbell row. But it's important to make sure that you keep your back straight and not to arch it. And while lifting up, you wanna make sure you squeeze that muscle. And for this, I usually like to do four sets of 10, but that's just because I really like doing back. So I tend to do more exercises for back and biceps because it's one of my favorite days, to be honest. Okay, so next, I don't know exactly what this exercise is called, but I used a resistance band and I just basically pulled it apart. So when you pull it apart, you wanna make sure that you're bringing your back muscles together so then you really get that good squeeze. And honestly, this one actually did really burn. So if you have a resistance band, it is a really good one. I know it's not actually using any weight, but I'm telling you, I felt it. So basically you don't wanna to grab too close, like don't put your hands too close together, but you also don't want to have them super far apart. Just play around with it and see the best hand position for you. And you should really feel it in your back. If you're not feeling it, then try maybe a stronger resistance band or to adjust your hand placement. So next I am doing standing dumbbell rows. So you just want to bend over a little bit and there are different hand placements that you could do. So just kind of play around to see which one you like best. I know a lot of times I feel most comfortable doing it where I just keep the dumbbells like vertical instead of having them like sideways horizontally. But whenever I did switch the placement and I did it horizontal and I kind of just lifted up, I did feel a lot more in my back. But also you want to make sure your back is straight for this so that you don't hurt yourself. So for this, I did three sets of 10, you know, the huge, always doing them three sets of 10. And then I forgot to mention this, but the exercise that I did previously, even though this is kind of late, so I'm sorry, but I did three sets of 15 for that one. All right, so that's all that I have for back today. So that means I'm moving on with my biceps. I love doing biceps, I don't know why. So first I'm just gonna start off with some regular bicep curls. And I'm gonna do three sets of 10, but make sure you do each arm. So total it's gonna be 20, but 10 on each arm. I like to alternate. So if you do them at the same time, then just do 10, you know? Okay, and then after that, I don't know what these are called either, so I'm sorry but it's basically a bicep curl, but whenever you go to lower it down, you stop halfway and lift it right back up and then go all the way down. I don't know if it's kind of like a pulse type situation. So this one, it really does burn. I just recently started doing these because I saw someone else do it and I was like, I wanna try. And it is now one of my favorites cause I really, I really feel it. I really feel it. So for that, I'm going to do three sets of 10, but total, remember, it's gonna be 20, so 10 each arm. And then lastly, I'm finishing off with the uh, eccentric bicep curls. You know, whenever you like lower it down slowly. I showed it in a previous video and I did say it was one of my favorites because it is. 
and it's just a nice little finisher to finish off back and by today because it's gonna give you that last little push to really burn out those muscles. And for this, I did grab a little bit of a heavier weight just so I really like tired myself out. And when you're lowering it, you just wanna make sure you don't lower it too fast. You wanna make sure it's nice and controlled and make sure you're flexing those muscles because it's gonna burn, okay? It's gonna burn, but you know, it's a good burn. And of course, for this, I'm doing three sets of 10, but like 10 each arm, 20 total. I know I keep saying it, but I just wanna clarify so you guys do the right thing. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, you already know to make sure that you like this video and to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time for our next workout. <laughs>